the idea to register my enduro electric bike as a moped came from a YouTuber named Andy Kirby. He is the one that was successfully in registering his electric bike that is on an enduro frame as a moped in England. So why not do the same here in Estonia too? My motivation is quite simple, I could start driving faster, up to uh, 45 km per hour and do it literally. I started uh, research different laws in Estonia regarding the registration of moped. First, the most important requirements for turn signal, high beam and low beam headlights, brake lights, mirrors and tires are that they must have EU markings on them. That means they have to have small writings on them, that means EU approval. Therefore, the lights and mirrors that I purchased from AliExpress are not suitable for use. I wasn't happy with my headlights or dirt signals anyway, so replacing them so I have no problem switching them out. These lights bought from AliExpress are actually walk lights. They have three modes, flashing, low and high. The flashing mode have been insanely annoying. There's, uh, there were no buttons to let me choose a specific mode. I had to cycle to all modes each time I find one I wanted. Those AliExpress nursing jobs were a complete joke too. I hadn't even taken the bike for a test ride yet when a nursing car simply fell apart right in my hands. Only the brake lights and rail lights were pretty decent, but un unfortunately they didn't have the EU markings either. They weren't going to be waste. I'm sure I can transfer them into my second bike. I found all the EU marked lights and mirrors that I needed from an online store. The total price was about 150 euros. Those uh, low and high beam lights are not LED. And one light takes about 60 watt of current and gets pretty hot. I have a large battery, so I'm not too worried. The previous uh, turn signal that I got from AliExpress had a built in flashing mode, but those uh, new EU marked ones don't, and they need to be placed manually on a uh, 12 volt uh, LED flasher relay. The relay cost me about uh, two US dollars on AliExpress and came with an adjustable knob that allows me to change the flashing speed of the turn signals. The law on turn signals states that frequency of the turn signal must be 90 plus minus 30 times per minute.
also bought hazard light switch from AliExpress that cost me around one dollar. Those are tiny integrated lights for third signals and low beam and high beam lights. I plan to use an electric junction box for this. AliExpress has crazy selection of integrated lights with many different colors and symbols. Next, I install the AU market mirror, quite a large mirror. A large reflector goes on the back of the fender by the law. It must not be triangular. This is how integrated lights panel looks like in the end. Quite an incredible sight. Now all that is left is to finally to fix in place. The first test left me without words. Doing such thing for the first time and get the successful result that really lifts my spirit. Only bad thing is that a lot of cables are needed for this four integrated light to work. Oh, it's so satisfying to see it actually work. The maximum power of moped can be 4,000 4, watts with a speed limit to 45 km per hour. My moped is categorizing as L1E and has 3,000 watt motor with 1,300 watt that being usable power. Now, all you have to do is submit an application to register the moped. This can be done online by downloading and filling the PDF form and sending it back in. The uh, required things such as vehicle length, width, height in millimeters, its weight and its brand name. I waited the vehicle two times different and always get the same result. First, I waited myself and then and on the weight with the bike. Next I weighted the front and rear wheels and added the number together. In both cases the bike weighed exactly 75 kilos. It could be too much work to go and find an official authority packed weight. And I took the most direct and easy road which was doing it myself. After wheeling out the worm, I have an electronic signed a document with my ID card and sent them back in via email. After that, I can only wait for the answer. 
and it could take a long time. One day a letter arrived asking me for the following copies of the blueprint of the frame, an explanatory letter, specification of the motor and controller, and copy of the document certifying its accusation, photos of the front side and rear view. A copy of payment receipt that uh, certifies I paid the state fee of uh, 205 euros. I tried to find the blueprints of the frame on the internet and I found a few of them. The place that sold me the frame didn't get back to me my request getting the blueprints. Explanatory letter must be indicated by whom and during what period vehicle was man manufactured, which part self manufactured and uh, which ones were bought from elsewhere. Now all the requirements have been met and letter is sent. There's nothing left to do but to sit tight and hope for the best.